Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Amaturi Killer, and I'm bringing you another video on Dragon Ball Idol. Now, in the previous video, I was talking about how to get a really strong team, aka the bleed teams, currently overpowered. Now, this is currently my bleed team. Look at that. Can you just look at it? We got 4-star Sorbet, 4-star Bobbity, 4-star Kid Buu, 5-star Majin Vegeta, and 4-star Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, the plan is to get in this order Goku to 5 star then we got Kid Buu then Babidi and then Sorbet now the reason that's my order is because I want to have more longevity with Goku because of his convergence to Vegeta now you may say hey um isn't Vegeta due to convergence nerfed no convergence was nerfed because of the damage but because of bleed stacking up it's not nerfed so if you have a crit team then or like a combo team then yes it's a little nerfed you do less damage but if you have a bleed team you're not going to be worrying about that due to the stack in bleed now we're gonna in this video we're gonna actually be talking about the conquest it's gonna be a two-part video the reason why it is a two-part video is because part one is day one and part two is day two. Now, as you can see, you have three attacks. And you can add an attack, you know, for 50 gems and whatnot. Now, as you see right here, let's just say the Karin Tower. For example, I took this over. Actually, a level 189 was on it. His name was Grim. And he had over 66 million power. Now me, I have a total of 52 million. Now this is what I actually did. So for the first day of the conquest, do not even worry about taking the middle flag. Like do not even worry about taking this. Like for example, I took it. The only reason why I took it is because I need the seven star to get a wish. Now that's the only reason why I took it. But being smart, I would have easily, you know, explored first to find the Dragon Balls. Okay, but there is, I believe, two per, you know, depending, there's like some towers that have one, and then there's some towers that have two. I've never seen a tower have three Dragon Balls. Now, for example, if you look at Fire Mountain, there's two Dragon Balls that were found, and so far, Alex has it. He has 108 million power. Now, as you can see, you might be confused to why the guy on our team, Sun, has three people on the flags. And you might be like, hey, amateur, I actually saw you have two flags right here and then three. How do you do that? Now, due to my attacks, and it's about being smart with Conquest, because if you waste an attack on taking the center flag when you have let's say a day and eight hours left it's a waste of an attack your objective is to first explore each node to find the Dragon Balls after the exploration is done you then can day two you then can attack the center towers and take over so this is for an example if you guys want to use your three uh, attacks and also the more nodes you have the more percentage you have so right here so because i'm in the center i get plus 30 percent attack buff and plus 30 percent defensive buff so that helps me out in general completely now as you can see here so my first one i have 50 well 576 thousand power so i basically put a few characters and thanks to my 209 uh sacrifice burst they basically get one shotted so I do that, as you can see, right here. This one is another team. This was actually 100, 704, but they're all level 1. You know, and thanks to, like I said again, 209. Depending if, you're, if your ultimate is, like, super powerful, you can literally have two people at a weak level and just, like, send them out, and then they'll basically just capture it. Now, when you get them captured, you just place them on the node, as this. You see I have different teams. You place them on the node. And once you place them on the node... You have, like, my guy alone has plus 20%. And then, thanks to this guy, Jerry Hun, he ended up putting 
his other weak players and helped me out with the boost. So with that being said, with the boost, we actually took out this guy in the center tower because he had 66 million and I had 52 million thanks to the 30% in buff and uh, debuff. So boom, a little defensive buff. And that is basically it for part one of the um, part one of the uh, conquest. What I'm actually going to do is, all right, so this guy is uh, 38 mil. All right, so what I'll do is, now another thing is, if an enemy is on the node and it is still like highlighted like this, that means that it's not explored. It's explored by them, but it's not explored by you or your team. Now, the way that you get the Dragon Balls to appear is by exploring each location. So, for example, to be explored, to be explored, to be explored. But if your team explores it... So, for example, this Goku guy. This is a huge example. He's on our team. There are zero, currently, zero Dragon Balls in this area. If every place was explored, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 nine okay if these nine areas were explored from our guys and there was no dragon balls found in them then this guy right here in the center wasted an attack turn to find no dragon balls because although that there's seven areas not all the areas have dragon balls for example two areas already have four or well, two and two so now there's three left so out of these places out of these five remaining locations, there will be three Dragon Balls. Now, as you can see, this guy played it smart. Daddy played it smart. So I'm actually going to attack this. So I'll actually purchase an attack. And what I'll do is I'll actually challenge it but submit uh, like a weaker team. So what I'll do is I will put um, him. Him 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 take out Vegeta okay so this is my team right now it has whoa 800 that's a lot Jesus it's a pretty decent amount for four people at level one so as you can see basically it's gonna be one hit so like although so he got one hit he got one hit so now look Sacrifice burst, they're all dead. We got the victory. Then, boom. You see? Now, I explored this area, which then means there are no Dragon Balls in this area. Now, as you can see, I have one, two, three. Oh, I got attacked. I actually got attacked right now. I lost. So, as you can see, it was one, two, three, and then here, four. But because I got attacked... So whoever attacked me really needs the Dragon Balls. So as you can see, hold on. So Fatal Child defeated our center tower holder amateur. So basically, I got attacked by Fatal Child. Now, it doesn't tell me, Child, I have... Oh, here he is. Okay, right here. 175 million power. Okay, well, we're not going to win. Well, I mean... I'm not going to win the center flag, but we do have a guy on our team that is actually really good. And that is uh, Sun right here. I'm going to show you guys who I am talking about. As you can see, this is his team right now. He's got God Vegito and God uh, Kid Boo. So I think we're probably set. Hopefully we could win the con uh, conquest. But... He literally took me out. So we still get the buff. But the problem is depending on who gets it. And that's the thing. So now as you can see right here. Actually before I actually got off of my cell phone. Because I was playing on mobile. And I'm on the computer now recording. This place Fire Mountain only had one Dragon Ball. But thanks to Sun actually exploring those areas. One more Dragon Ball appeared. So that's basically the tip, guys. It's it's all a matter of how you play it. So if you automatically get the nodes first on day one and use your attacks to their full potential, like strategy-wise, then you could be set. And then day two, which is the final day when you get your rewards, 
is to play really smart and consider when to attack at the right time because there will be 25 seconds free like you'll be shielded if I attack somewhere so for example if I go to Kame house and I attack this right here I actually get a shield that covers me for 25 seconds so the technique is to attack at the last 15 seconds if it's available and then boom capture but alright guys I hope you guys enjoyed I'll be posting a video tomorrow up of the part 2 of conquest and I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys soon alright guys peace